channel. <laughs> Come back to the channel. We are gardening. We are gardening? Yes. Uh -huh. We are going to finish the gardening video that has not been sent it out. Okay, so what are we going to do? What are we doing? We're planting. We're giving the soil some food. Yeah. All right, so we food. got some. What's the garden? What's the food called? Garden Town Herb and Vegetable Food. Be careful, bro. All right, so... Can I help? Uh, herb and Vegetable Food. Amount you're going for, or is it just a little bit? I'm just giving it a little bit, just for the water. We had some seeds that must have sprouted that were from last season that are out here. That's some spinach. And then we got a couple of little spring onions kind of hanging around. At least in the back. These might be chives here. Yeah, oh, okay, that, that's probably chive right here. And then we got a couple spring onions that lasted back there. Okay, looks good. Looks so, good. This, is phase, <laughs> this is phase two of our garden preparations. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. So, what are we planting? We're planting some spinach. Uh huh. Some mustard spinach and some oceanside spinach uh -huh. and some matador spinach. Lots of spinach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Broccoli, two types, rapini and the seco. Seco, weco, leco. <laughs> some radishes and some bunching onions. Why are you planting those vegetables? Because those are the ones that we eat. I mean. Why are you planting them right now? Oh. You're supposed to be making a because video. Because these are cold hardy vegetables. So our um, last frost date is supposed to be about beginning second week of April. So we're about five weeks away. Um, so this is a good time to start. Four to six weeks before your last frost. We're right in the middle. Frost-resistant vegetables is what are going in now. Isn't that right, Mia? Yeah. Have you watched any of our other videos yet? That's a great question. You uh -huh. should subscribe and watch all of our old videos. We already have two subscribers. <laughs> Only two. Just two. two. Last season, we planted when it was super windy, and the seeds went Crazy. everywhere. <laughs> We had a storm coming in and the seeds went everywhere. So we're trying to learn from what we did last year and hopefully we'll get better results this and year. And we'll get a better crop. Is that right? Uh -huh. Are we gonna get a better crop? I hope so. We need to learn from our mistakes. That's right, you gotta learn from your mistakes. Right here it gives you all the information. There you go. There you go. Can, can, I, can I open it? And up it tells please? you right in the front it is frost tolerant. Mama, can I open it? It's already open, baby. Oh. Yeah. These we're going to keep planting as time comes because it's spinach. And if we plant too much at the beginning, we're not going to be able to eat it all. How huge these are. Yeah. So is this row, is this row ready now with the spinach? I think so. So you're not even going to like cover them up? You just kind of... I did. Didn't you see me? Oh, I kind of okay. pinched the soil a little bit. It's only supposed to be a quarter of an inch, so it's not very much at all. Um, these are half an inch, five to 10 days, 28 to 40, 48 days to mature. Group of three seeds every six inches. So, should I have the girls help me for this one? It's an interesting technique you got there. <laughs> I'm using what I got on hand. I'm being too lazy. I don't want to go inside. Still have stuff from last year. So you can see, kind of roughing up the soil a little bit. And then our expert farmer here is going to plant our crops. And if we don't get enough, I guess we'll just have to starve the rest of the year. Well, it's a good thing I have a man who works. Somebody's got to go to work to provide. Okay. So you just putting little little holes and then it's just easier that way because then I can just go in there with the seeds 
How many are you putting in each hole? It said three seeds, so I'm following the rules this time, three. So what are some things that you learned from last year? Tell the people. Um, you shouldn't plant things you don't eat. <laughs> don't plant before a storm. The soil you use is important. Yeah, and they're cold hardy, so this will be um, three to four inches. They're not necessary to be thinned. Even better. I wonder if those are like heads of spinach and these are like just leaves. I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, it does look leaves here. And this looks more like a head. Maybe that's why it was three per group. Maybe. We like spinach here in the bayou. Did you say we live in the bayou? <laughs> in Virginia? So this one didn't need to be thinned. So this is a I'm little just, different technique here. Yeah, I think these are just going to be leaves because it said it didn't need to be thinned. So I'm just kind of sprinkling them along like I did the lettuce last year. The, the loose lettuce. <laughs> Might need a little bit more. And this is where you can get in trouble with the wind. If the wind is too crazy, it'll just blow oh, your it. seeds all over your beds. Yep. And, so it's a moisture thermometer, huh? Moisture, light, and pH. What are the numbers you're shooting for here? Um, pH in the middle, moisture in the middle, and uh, <laughs> this, this place gets pretty good light, so I don't have to worry about that. You see in the middle, so you know, for the yes. viewers. Yeah, this it's very wet right now because we had a storm. Okay. Remember? Yeah, it snowed yesterday. Actually, that was, that was the pH. The moisture is fine. Look, we're in the okay. middle for the moisture. Um, the light is super bright because the no, sun is hitting it. And pH is oh, alkaline. So we're good. We're All good right, on so pH. Soil is good. Soil, it says it's good. You can do up to here. And then sister can do the rest. Go ahead. Okay. So I can't help right now? Yes, in a minute, Mia. Yeah. Get one, Cora. One. Right. Oh, there goes one already. Right here. Right in here? Yeah, right in the hole. Good job. Can you get another one right here? Yay! Right there. It's the same basic technique. These three rows, you can kind of see where the soil's been moved. It's already been planted. Still had some leftover seeds from last year. You can see some of our spinach kind of got blown around with the wind and ended up sprouting this year. So it's important to water, even if the ground is yes. pretty moist already. Yes, they have to stay moist. The ground has to be very moist. So we're going to, you know, make sure they stay moist. We're giving them what they like. Nutrients, water, and sunlight. There we go. All right, so is this side planted now? Yeah, this side is planted for now. There's some stuff that I'm gonna keep sowing, like the lettuce. I just don't wanna get too much all at once. So I'm gonna sow it um, probably weekly until I can't sow it no more since it's a, more of a cool weather crop. And then this side is gonna start getting planted next week with different kinds of carrots and different kinds of beets. Um, and some other cold weather crops that needed to be a tad warmer, but are still cold weather crops. Yes. That's it. Phase one planted. Done. They said she couldn't do it. All right. So thanks for joining us on the gardening episode today. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.